Guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you very much to all of our new subscribers. Uh, we are trying desperately to get to 2000. So the quicker we get there, the quicker we do the biggest giveaway of our channel's history. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to that. If you know someone you think you might like our videos or anything else like that, please, please share it, tag them and get them on board. Now today, apart from sounding like I've got a horrible cold, it's just hay fever kicking my ass. I want to talk to you about the uh, the biggest forgotten component within our domestic consumer units. And I'm not talking about ours here at Navitas, although I will be. Uh, I'm talking about everybody's, okay? And I want to talk to you about, drum roll, buzz bars. Please don't unsubscribe just yet, right? Trust me, right? I want to talk to you about buzz bars. Why do I want to talk about buzz bars? Well, all, well, I say all, most buzz bars in the UK, especially in domestic consumers, are made of a single component, okay? And that component is, or material, should I say, not component, is mm -hmm. copper, okay? Now, copper is a fantastic conductivity uh, property, and it works fantastically well in consumers and has done for decades and decades and decades. But what is a bugbear about a copper buzz bar? And I'm not talking about when you miss a terminal along the bottom and you have to go back with your, your dentist mirror to just double check. I'm talking about time. How many of you have gone back to a site and found a buzz bar corroded? It looks like the inside of a kettle sometimes, right? Really corroded, causing issues with the performance of the devices, causing heat. Some can cause arcs because they're so corroded, okay? And some are just fitted in a standard um, home. But other, obviously, a lot of people now are starting to fit consumers outside, some are fitting them in garages, all these situations where the temperature is obviously a lot more volatile. Well, that temperature will create more moisture within boards and that moisture will obviously attack your buzz bar. Now, there's nothing you can really do about that. It's copper. The copper is highly corrosive in the sense of that the elements like oxygen and moisture will attack it and affect it. Now, what you might not be aware of is how badly they affect it and where. So the biggest points of affecting will be on the edges or right at the terminal points of your devices. Now that's a huge problem and a huge risk of fires and believe it or not, arc faults. And we're back down to that 6,000 centigrade of heat over an arc. So that's one thing that has an issue with it. So what are manufacturers doing? Well, you have to coat them, okay? You, uh, I mean, if you don't coat co copper and actually spin copper in a particular way, if you leave this out for an hour, if it was just solid copper in its natural form, it would turn green instantly just from oxygen. So what do we do? We, well, we coat it. We spin it with lots of other materials and, uh, and compounds, etc., and we coat it. But what else do we do? Well, we sheath it. Okay. Now, you're, for those of you who fit a Navitas consume unit, you'll know this isn't one of ours. It's from a competitor's board, and you'll know that just by looking at it. But we sheath it. And why do we sheath it? Apart from stopping people touching a potentially live part, safe isolation, guys, please. Okay, why else do we sheath it? Well, we sheath it to stop the elements getting to it. But all copper buzz bars aren't sheathed in the same way. Okay, some are sheathed like this, and some are sheathed with a shroud. Now, that will stop little Timmy touching a live buzz bar, potentially, but it won't stop any elements getting to it whatsoever. Now, what do people like us do? Well... We treat it even further and we silver coat it. Now, that silver coating on that buzz bar means two things. One, the continuity across that buzz bar is better. And two, any corrosion on it is reduced even more. So the possibility of this lasting longer than this is almost a guarantee. Okay. Then we put it in a sheath that is so tight. Okay, that there is zero movement in there. If there's zero movement in there, there's less likely to get any moisture in there, as opposed to, for example, one that slides around. Okay, so if it slides around, there's gaps. If there's gaps, there's moisture. If moisture gets trapped in that gap, you have another problem. So, silver coated buzz bars, that's one thing. Tight sheathing is another thing. Okay, now, one more little unsung point about our buzz bar system with our devices is have we ever had to rearrange an installation and then thought, ah, I've got to drop the entire buzz bar. Well, if you fit an advertised consumer unit, we can take that away from you immediately. So if you have a look at this, we hit the clip, we can pull it, once we move it, straight off the buzz bar, without dropping the buzz bar and keeping everything else connected. Nice and easy. Now you can't do that on most consumer units either. So when I say the young sung hero I, and I say all oh, consumer units aren't made equal, I'm just not, not just talking about the board and the devices, I'm talking about every single aspect of the board that goes into it to making sure that one, it's great to fit, 
But two, it lasts as long as it's supposed to last. And when you leave that job and you've done a great work on that board, you're also leaving that household with a great product that's going to last as long as they want it to. Okay, guys? So just think about that next time you're choosing your consuming it and you're thinking about copper buzz bars. All right? Now, guys... Any questions about buzz bars or our consuming units or any other consuming units or anything else I can help you with as far as circuit protection, please get in touch. Instagram is always the easiest way to get hold of me. I'm on there, william.winter1, and obviously our Navitas account as well is on there. And uh, yeah, please do subscribe and like the video. And if you think it helped anyone, please share it. And until next time, and hopefully next time I won't sound like this, take care. <laughs>